Hi guys and welcome to my shed. I've been thinking about doing this DS plane for some time now and been thinking about how I was going to do it. To start off with, I've drawn out a full size plan of the, of the wing and from that I've worked out my, my panel sizes because I'm going to do it in two pieces because it's easier to shape. I've um, got some 16mm MDF and laminated them together so there's one piece. And I've also cut out the, the shape of the fuselage so, um, to use as templates so I can shape the big block of MDF that I've glued together to do the fuse. I have already um, glued the block together and out of 9mm pieces of MDF and um, I've already shaped it up. Um, before that I actually started to shape it I put my template on here and um, drew around my, my wing section and cut it out so that it was square to the, to the fuse and the little piece on the top here I cut off square and glued it back on so when I come to fit the wing I can um, follow that cut line so that I know that it's square in the mould and everything so it releases properly and glue that piece to the mould or to the top of the wing um, so everything marries in and matches these are the blocks of MDF I'm going to be making the wings out of for a plug to take a mould off. I've um, glued them together and cut them to shape. I've already um, shaped one wing panel or one top of the wing panel as you can see there. The templates have got blue felt on them so when you're sanding down um, to the template you can actually see where you're starting to touch so you don't go any further than that. Um, the result is actually um, incredibly good. I'm actually very surprised at um, the finish on this and how smooth and accurate it is to the airfoil. The only thing you really have to watch when you're doing these is making sure that your templates are absolutely perfect to the centre line because you could actually build in a twist in the wing without even realising it. I forgot to mention my workshop helpers. This is Monty. He's the quality control. And down here somewhere. And this little guy here, Carlo, is my um, supervisor. I've already shaped my fin and um, elevator up and they've come up really well. I shaped the top first and then put a layer of glass on there so when I turned it over and shaped the other side the MDF didn't break away and come off um, when I'm shaping the other side on the trailing edge. It, um, it actually has worked really really well. I've got around the tips off these off yet and, um, and put a bit of shape on them, glue them together and they'll be ready for priming and paint. This is a wing panel ready to be planed down. Um, I've got my little plane there. I've had that plane for years and it's really quite good. Very, very sharp. Um, you can see I'm starting to get knee deep in sawdust at the moment. But um, I'll time this one and plane it down and sand it and um, we'll see how long it takes. It has taken me 15 minutes to plane down to the template. Um, I said the template's been, I put felt on there, which is actually a permanent marker, that's a Kiwi saying, permanent marker on the airfoil so that I can see when I'm going to knock through it. But I'm down to about half a mil on um, each side of this, of the template, and um, now it's time to sand. I've got um, two sanding blocks here. Um, I've got a straight edge on the back of them to keep them nice and straight. Uh, one is, is um, 40 grit. And the other one is 80. Um, 80 is as much as I need to go down to because I'm going to be putting a piece of glass on it. So there we go. 24 minutes 57. 25 minutes and I've got that panel um, pretty good to where I like it. You know, it's, it's I'm only just starting to touch the, the, um, the rib, which is good. And um, it's nice and Hopefully you can see this, but if I put my steel roller on there and, and pull it through the airfoil, you can see that the airfoil is actually very straight 
and um, to the templates. So hopefully 